Welcome to Tiny Tots Storytime. Today our first story is, shh, the baby's asleep. Now don't make a peep. The baby's finally asleep. Look at that. He has his little rabbit too to sleep with. Mom creeps to the door and hears sounds from the floor. Creak, creak, creak. Shh, the baby's asleep. Daddy's loud belly wants PB and jelly. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Shh, the baby's asleep. Grammy's new shirt is covered in dirt. Swish, swish, swish. Shh, the baby's asleep. Pop Pop's red nose just needs some good blows. A chew, a chew, a chew. Shh, the baby's asleep. Wake that baby up for sure. Shay's hair is still wet. Her curls haven't set. Whirr, whirr, whirr. Shh, the baby's asleep. Dante's toy truck needs its wheels unstuck. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Shh. The baby's asleep. My goodness. Rover's big jaws are due for some howls. Oh, wow. Shh. The baby's asleep. And what's that? Oh no, Mr. Young starts to mow. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Shh, the baby's asleep. <laughs> Creak. Uh oh. little creak in the floor. Wah, wah. All these uproars while the poor baby snores. Now the baby's awake for goodness sake. Oh dear. <laughs> you know what we need? A good book to read. Look at that. He's got a book ready to go. Now don't make a peep. <laughs> Everybody's going to listen to the story, I guess. So the family can sleep. <laughs> it looks like baby's reading the book by himself. And all the family's asleep. Oh my. Except look right here. Looks like grandma and grandpa are taking a picture. Oh, it is hard to be quiet in the house when baby's taking a nap. <laughs> All right, Miss Lisa, what do you have for us today? All right, boys and girls, in that story, everybody was making noise. So I thought we would play a little game, and I'm going to show you a picture, and you need to tell me whether it's loud or if it's something that's quiet. Okay? So let's look at the pictures I show you, and you tell me, and then I'll make sure you have, know the right answer. All right, here's our very first picture. Can we see that picture? <coughs> All right. Now this is like a work phone at your mom or dad's office. You probably don't have one of these at home. 
and there's no silent button on this thing. So what would we say, boys and girls? Is it loud or is it quiet? It's usually pretty loud when that ringer rings. Okay, right, here's another picture. What do you think about that one? Is that a noisy type picture or is it quiet? Have you ever gone outside at night and the stars are shining and the moon is up and the clouds are, maybe there's a few clouds in the sky. Now, if you live in the city, it might be noisy, but out where we live in the country, if we go out 10, 11 o'clock at night, it's silent, wonderful. All right, what about this picture? Now, there are no people in that picture, but if you can imagine a bunch of children, is that a noisy place or a quiet place? Playgrounds are pretty noisy, aren't they? Up and down that slide and up the steps. All right, here's another picture. Isn't that pretty? If you are using crayons to color with, are they quiet? Or is that a noisy activity? Hope you said it's a quiet activity. Mm -hmm. They don't make too much noise when you use a crayon. Okay, let's come right up over here. What do you see in this picture? There's some hats and some little noisemaker whistle things and confetti. If you are in an activity like that, is that a noisy? I hope you said noisy. That looks like a New Year's Eve celebration. You wear those hats and those blowers mm -hmm. and whistles and throw confetti. It's, most parties are pretty noisy, aren't they? Okay, here's another picture for you. What about the little rubber duck? Now all by himself, he's usually pretty quiet, isn't he? Sometimes they have a squeaker in them. But if you are maybe in a, in, in a bathtub and you are enjoying some imagination play, you might be pretty loud. So that one might be easier. Here's another picture for you. Let's go right here. <laughs> you guys see what this is? It's a pillow. Are pillows noisy or quiet? I sure hope you said they're quiet. Pillows put us to sleep, don't they? They're so soft and quiet. They're awesome. All right, what about this? This is an instrument, a musical instrument. This is a piano. Are they noisy or are they loud? Are noisy and loud are the same thing, aren't they, boys and girls? Are they quiet? <laughs> Not usually, especially if you play down here on this end. Those are the really deep notes. They can get really loud. Up here are the really high notes. All right, let me show you another picture. We've got just a few more. What about this soft and cuddly little guy? Is he loud or is he quiet? I hope you said he's quiet. He's something that you snuggle with with that pillow, huh? All right, I don't know where to go with this. Let's take these off of here real quick. What about this guy? You guys know what that is? That's an airplane. Are they loud or are they quiet? <clears throat> You know what, airplanes are usually so loud that even when they pass over um, your house, when you're outside, they make a sound. You can hear them, they're very, very loud. Those engines on there, they make a loud sound. Here's another one that comes through town every once in a while. Not a cutesy little guy like this, but are trains quiet or are they loud? Most of the time they're loud, especially when they're blowing their horn. So when we do these loud things, what's going to happen to our baby in our story? I got a last picture <laughs> is that baby, okay, <laughs> doing that wah, wah, wah. They got, they got a little toy. So this was a fun little game of loud and quiet. You can play this game at home. We'll look around your house and try to find different objects. Is it loud or is it quiet? Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Kim's got another story for us One today. One more story. The title of this story is One More Hug for Madison. Looks like this is gonna be a bedtime thing. One more hug for Madison. Time for bed, Madison, called Mommy. Looks like she's playing with her little 
toy mouse. So Madison put away her toys, washed her whiskers, brushed her teeth, and put on her pajamas. Yeah, that's what we do at bedtime. As the little mouse snuggled under the covers, Mommy read Madison her favorite bedtime story until Madison looked very sleepy. <laughs> Night, night, Madison, Mommy whispered, giving her a bedtime kiss and a hug. Night, night, Mom, said Madison as Mommy turned out the light. Madison tried to sleep, but without the light, her room felt dark and she felt lonely. Mom, she called, just one more thing, please. May I have Molly Mouse to keep me company? Mm. Yeah, sometimes we like something to snuggle with in bed. So Mommy fetched Molly Mouse and gave Madison one more hug. Good night. But Madison still couldn't sleep. Now she was thirsty. Mom, she called. Just one more thing. Please, could I have a drink and another blanket to keep me warm? Hmm, that sounds like two things to me, boys and girls. A drink and a blanket. That's like two things. So, Mommy gave Madison a cup of warm milk and a cozy blanket and one more hug good night. The extra blanket and the drink made Madison feel lovely and warm. But then she heard a strange noise. Mom, she shouted, just one more thing. I need my woolly hat to cover my ears, Madison called. Hmm. So Mommy brought Madison's hat and gently tucked it around her ears and gave her one more hug and blew her one more kiss. Look at that kiss, boys and girls, going across the page. As she closed the door. Madison now had Molly Mouse, a drink, another blanket, a woolly hat, but still she could not sleep. What is missing, wondered Madison. And then she realized, Mom, called Madison, just one more thing. All I need now is to go to sleep is one more hug. Think it'll work, boys and girls? So Mommy gave her little Madison one last great big hug. Hmm, think she went to sleep? And just one last thing, I promise, whispered Madison. But Mommy <laughs> was already fast asleep. <laughs> I think Mommy was tired too, don't you? Yeah. Wow. Oh, poor Mommy. She was tired. Well, I hope Madison gets to sleep, don't you, boys and girls? I think she needed a good night story <laughs> yeah. myself. That might have been a good idea. <laughs> well, that's all for today, boys and girls. We hope you enjoyed our stories and our activity today, and you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye now.